Hello, everybody. This is episode number 108. Uh, Catholic Dad, episode number 108. The devil starts on the froth of the lips of angels. And so um, everybody's well-intended. Uh, that's what I've come to learn in my life. And I think uh, everybody thinks they're well-intended, right? They, like they all have good motivations and they, they want to do what's right for their societies and their families and their friends and everything else. And so uh, a great Russian dissident, his name was uh, Grigory, Grigory Pomerantz. Uh, he has a famous quote, uh, the, the, the devil st starts on the froth of the lips of angels, charging in the battle for holy and righteous causes, or holy and just causes. And so that's something I, that bears meditating upon. So think about this, a righteous warrior charging in the battle. And he's um, he's going to charge and he's going to do what's right. And it doesn't have to be like a true battle. It could be a spiritual battle. It could be um, uh, it could be a po uh, politicians uh, trying to get a legislative um uh, get uh, some kind of special legislative bill through um, or, you know, try to make a certain law. And everybody thinks they're doing what's right. You know, you think about abortion, right? Let's just think about abortion for a second. Uh, you're literally killing a baby, period, right? That's that's what it is. Uh, but everybody who's, like, pro-choice, uh, they're trying to free womankind, right? Uh, they're trying to get her to eat from the tree of knowledge. They want her liberated. They want her to have absolute freedom. I mean, that, that's what the tree of knowledge is. You know, the serpent comes to Eve and says, you can have everything you want, even from the one thing God says you can't have. So Eve eats from the tree of knowledge. You know, even politicians that are, are uh, pro-choice and are trying to liberate abortion, even up to the time of death, believe they're well-intended. But so what does Gregory Pomeranz point out? The devil starts on the froth of the lips of angels charging in the battle for holy and just causes. So you're charging in a battle and you're like, you're you know, like, think about froth in your mouth. You're frothing. You're so passionate about what you're doing. You're so fired up. You, you so want to do what's right. But right on the froth, you're like most passionate, your saliva, right on the froth of your mouth, the devil's there leading you into battle. And so that's why people that uh, take up political causes, people that charge in a battle, people that are always trying to change society for what they believe is the best way society, uh, the best way for society, they really have to meditate a lot and they have to pray a lot, because the thing that may be leading you is not righteousness. It's not virtuous. Uh, it might not be virtue. It, it might not be the good, uh, the true, and the beautiful. It might actually be the devil. And so. All politicians out there, all people that have an axe to grind for something, all people that are trying to do what they believe is right, has to really think about what the fruits of what they want are. You know, the communists out there, um, all they had to do was meditate and look at what they were doing. I mean, they were slaughtering people by the millions uh, because they were trying to achieve what was right. I said in the last video that um, uh, Fidel Castro... Uh, you know, he, he had the communist revolution. You know, he was thinking, oh, I want to help the poor, the downtrodden, the dispossessed. But eventually, it came to the point where he said, S socialism or death, right? Which meant it was no longer about the poor, the downtrodden, or anything else. It was about conquering those who had, right? About rising up and destroying uh, the order of society and taking it down and handing it down to the dispossessed, handing it down uh, to the poor and the needy. And... Um, Socialism or death, meaning he was willing to fight to the death to get what he wanted. And so at that point in time, if he was, if he was a prayerful man, if he was somebody who looked into his own soul quite frequently, which we all should do, he should have said, whoa, maybe I've gone a little too far. Like, maybe death is, maybe there are other options other than killing people. Maybe there's other options other than these uh, death camps. Maybe there's other options. But no, I mean, he, he persisted his entire life and he thought he was doing what was right. Um, so the devil does start on the froth of the lips of angels, charging in the battle for holy and just causes. And if you're one of those angels, pray a lot, pray a lot. And don't be so convicted of what you think is right uh, in terms of law and so on and so forth or what you're trying to battle for. Um, try to, uh, like, become like the emperor's new clothes. Try to empty yourself of your preconvictions and just be naked. And um, uh, naked of any kind of preconceived notion and listen to all sides. And uh, try to meditate about it and try to figure it out. Try to, you know, data mine. And I'm just saying be reasonable. That's all I'm saying. But just remember, you could be doing the devil's work if you fight too hard about a position, if you dig your heels in too hard. And um, there are people like, um, you know, Catholic women priests who are... Um, 
or uh, there are like schismatic branches, you know, you think about SSPX and uh, Lefebvre and so on and so forth. These people were so trying to preserve traditionalism within the Catholic Church that what they did was they schismed out, which, yeah, woe to those people. Like, you think you're better than the, than the hierarchy? Um, like, you're no better than a Protestant, really, if you think, I'm going to go form my own church, and I, like, I'm doing battle because I'm so righteous and so right. Well, it could be your passions are driven by the devil and pride. It might not because that your passions are driven by righteousness and virtue. So there you go. This is a Catholic dad making you think about it. Uh, Grigory Pomerantz was the guy's name. G-R-I-G-O-R-Y. It's Russian. Pomerantz. Uh, the devil starts on the froth ellipse, ellipse of angels um, charging into battle for holy and just causes. So uh, God bless you. Get the mass. Uh, please like or subscribe and pray the daily rosary. God bless you.